12 through 15, it says, tell what the third side of a triangle must fall between given the two side measurements. They gave us four and five. So let's think, what's the shortest we can make it? Here's four. If I come back five and I come back with just like a one degree angle, let's say, this right here is going to be pretty close to one, isn't it? Now, if it came straight back five, it would be exactly one. But since it's leaned up a little bit, it's a little more than one. Here's four. What about the longest I could make that third side? Well, that'd be if I made it perfectly fat, flat, it would be nine. But this has got to be tilted up just a hair, 179, to sort of come back, which would be a little bit less than nine. So we know it's in between. The measurement is in between one and nine. It cannot equal one or nine or else they'd be flat lines. So we simply subtract them to get the smallest it could be. Add them to get the largest it could be. And it's got to be between them. Can't equal those measurements. But that's how we do it. So 20 and 1. Subtract them. 19. Add them. 21. Our measurement is somewhere between 19 and 21. 8 and 20. Subtract them. 12. Add them. 28. The measurement is somewhere between. And we always make the alligators e to the right to the bigger number. 10 and 10. Subtract them. 0. Add them. 20. The measurement is somewhere between 0 and 20.